Welcome back to Pebbles tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video I will be talking about how you can install MailTrain with Ubuntu 18.04 with Docker. So before getting started I would recommend to check the link in the description where you can find this complete tutorial which can help you out while installing MailTrain. What is MailTrain? So MailTrain is an open source self-hosted campaign management or newsletter management application which is built on Node.js and MySQL. MailTrain helps you to send bulk emails by just uploading a simple CSV file. And the best part is you can configure SMTP service provider of your own. Before getting started with MailTrain, what are the pre-requirements? Since MailTrain is a self-hosted um, service we will require a server which should have minimum 1 GB of RAM for MailTrain service. So the recommendation will be choose slightly higher configuration server which should have minimum 2 GB of RAM to uh, work your MailTrain service seamlessly. We will require a, a PepiPost account. If you don't have, you can sign up by just clicking this link. <clears throat> then we will require Docker and Docker Compose. So what is the step one? So step one is uh, we need GCC, and, uh, GCC and there are some package dependencies uh, we need to download that can be downloaded from this link. So the second part is the similar one which will download the dependency. The third part is Node.js. We won't require Node.js much since we are running on Docker. After the dependency uh, installation, we will clone this MailTrain repository at our temp file. So we are already in temp directory. So we will just clone this repository. Once we clone, we will move to my repository and later. So uh, since the, we, we, we are running the mail train service on Docker, we will require the Docker. So I have already installed. If you have not installed, you can just simply hit this command and uh, the Docker dependency and all will be automatic, automatically downloaded and resolved. And later, we will also check for Docker Compose. The similar case, if in case you have not downloaded uh, Docker Compose, so you can just hit this URL, uh, hit this command on terminal and uh, it will be installed. The additional part is you need to give an executable permission to your Docker Compose binary. So uh, the next step is we will just copy this in order to run. We will copy this uh, docker compose override.yml.tmpl temp to docker compose.override.yml and later next step will be we will be just making our docker compose up and detached so you can see um, it is extracting all those dependencies that is redis and since it's built on a uh, Redis and MySQL. Now it is uh, resolving MySQL dependencies. So Redis is basically used for storing the cache, uh, the login. Now uh, MySQL is getting uh, extracted. So uh, after MySQL, it will be just pulling those uh, Node.js uh, library also. So it, uh, is doing the similar thing it is extracting the node.js library so once uh, this node.js library is done then we can check uh, whether the docker are up, uh, up and running that is by simple command docker ps so you can similarly see this image we, we can try now so once this library get uh, extracted you can see 
since uh, it is getting downloaded and uh, extracted let's look for uh, what actually a mail train is so this is an the, this is the official site where you can see uh, mail train is a self hosted newsletter app built on top of node mailer so you, it uses a Mo node mailer npm library for sending e smtp emails similarly you can find their source on github and subscribe to their newsletter so these are the features which uh, mail train supports that is uh, list management you can also segment your list accordingly according to your uh, subscribers and you can define rules and something then you can uh, also try for rss campaign then what are the uh, stats for your campaign you have, you can define your own templates and different templates if you if you want to build on your own send via any provider is the same that i have discussed uh, the best part is it allows you to configure the smtp provider of your own then there is an automation which defines uh, what to trigger at what event the these are similar smaller automation but yeah impactful so let's see it's getting yeah so uh, these are the dependency which uh, mail train needs that are usually from node.js so you can see all these npm libraries are getting installed so we are i think we are almost done with our installation so this is the last part so uh, again in case uh, if you feel difficult or if you are stuck somewhere you can anytime visit this link which i have mentioned in the description once a uh, docker is set we can then uh, see to it that how we can configure this docker uh, image docker uh, mail train that is running on docker with apache 2 and nginx both so yeah uh, i think it's done so mail train uh, service is done so now uh, we will look to it that first starting with this apache so apache is a web server that any web server you can install it so what we need to do is just simply copy this file into our apache configuration file that is let's see this what is there in the file so yeah uh, it has the proxy pass so we need to just copy paste this particular thing apache usually is installed in this directory so we will go for a by default configuration that is default.com yeah so this is the uh, configuration we need to do for proxy passing at apache we need to just restart our service service apache to restart that's done so uh, if I want to check whether the service is up and running all i need to do is go to my ip so let's close this tab since it's an official mail train.org tab yeah so this is similar kind of tab uh, you can see which we have seen in mail train.org so uh, we can log in into this admin so i'm just logging it out so i think it is cached or something okay so sign in requires a uh, by default sign in uh, is having admin as a username and test has a password so i will sign in so you can see there is a list you can may, uh, develop your template of your own you can build campaigns automation reports you can configure your smtp provider that is the basic part is here so this is a service url that is uh, the same ip which we are running so it's running on 3000 port we need to configure here this is an admin email you can configure uh, any admin email you want if you have some ga tags or something you can also find it out 
or you can just simply copy paste. This is a campaign default. So whenever you uh, compose a campaign, there, is, there are some stats that are what is the default address, sender name, from name, from email, subject line. So these are the basic uh, campaign de default it has taken. So here comes the main part. So all we need to do is configure this smtp.pepivos.com in mailer settings, which comes under settings. You need to go here settings tab, then just scroll down a bit and here is the SMTP. Configure your smtp.pepivos.com. The port is 57 recommended one. The encryption uh, should be always uh, start TLS and then uh, the username i have used mine you can use your own you can uh, similarly there are some few more advanced mailer settings that is you can log each and every smtp transactions the max connection you want uh, from your server to at uh, host server that is smtp.pepios.com at a single time how many max messages that is max email you want to send you can give your throttling limit also here so that's it for uh, the settings. So now let's build one uh, small campaign that is list. So let's create a list. So mail train demo description will be I am setting open to mail train with docker so just create uh, the list once you create the list it will ask for the subscribers so you can ask add subscribers from here you can import the list of subscribers that can be csv uh, that is that comes here so here you can import the list whole list of the subscribers so now we will be just uploading single subscriber that is we can go here, add subscriber. I will add mine. Come at the pepicos.com. Sorry. This will be Vikram. So uh, it is always good to have a uh, one test user whenever you build a campaign. So whenever you test for a campaign, uh, by default, your name will be listed in the campaign. So I will be subscribing this. Okay, so you, here you can see Vikram Shaw at the was successfully added to a list. So you can check here. So this is the part where I am automatically added. Let's uh, send a mail to this email ID. So all you need to go do is go to campaign, create campaign. We will create a regular campaign. So mine campaign will be test mail train description will be test. I have one subscriber. So this can be the list uh, depends on the subscriber coming from different kind, different pages, different uh, website, uh, different pages of your website. If you have template, then uh, the list of template will be coming here or uh, it will be coming while sending the email. So if you want to disable the open tracking, click tracking, you can do that also. Once we create campaign, since I have said earlier, if you want, if you don't have template and uh, just keeping that blank, you will need to give some template data over here. Hello Vikram. Okay, I will just upload, update this, uh, See, I have uh, told you that it is always good to keep a test user option ticked so that by default you can see the test user or else, uh, the action is given to add new user preference is there. But it's always to keep a test user so that it's easy to send an email. You can just click here. Standing message. Okay. So this will send your email. So you can uh, figure out here. So see, it is sending those email, 
right so uh, this is something what uh, amazing open source tool for campaign management and uh, you can say list management newsletter management yeah so my uh, campaign has been sent see all the messages sent hit continue if you want to send this campaign to new subscriber this is what i was saying it's a simple open source campaign management tool which is easily configurable right so this was for apache we have done similarly you can do it for nginx for example let's stop our apache service service apache to stop and let's configure for nginx so we will need to go okay same vim nginx so we need to just copy paste this in nginx okay so it's in sites enabled i think or default sites enabled and default so uh, here you can set the proxy paths by just setting this simple line so the mail train has given a predefined set of uh, system so but by simply proxy passing you can set this so we will up this nginx service let's see whether mailtron is running or not so just refreshing the page yeah it's not running since we have closed our uh, apache sorry, apache ser service so let's make this nginx service up So if I visit the same again, yeah, it's running on Nginx now. So you can see the same list we have made. So since it's running on Docker, we have just uh, changed the web server interface. So uh, these are the screenshots while integration you can uh, check if you are stuck in between again uh, feel free to comment in the description and anyways if you are stuck uh, this tutorial will help you out for sending uh, or configuring peppy post with mail train. Thank you everyone. Uh, let's. See, uh, see you soon in next tutorial.